Here we have Theresa May, universally it seems, being dismissed by the politicians as she tours uh, uh, the home nations. But publicly, if she does get backing, shouldn't those MPs then execute the people's will and support her in Parliament in this forthcoming vote in December? Well, of course, the, on the Brexit side, the debate is what is the people's will? What does that, what does that mean? A lot of people who would be opposed to her deal are people who say that it doesn't honour uh, the Brexit vote, that it isn't what people voted for. And so when they reject it, they will be able to claim, or they'll, I think they'll honestly claim, whether they're right or wrong, that what they are doing is defending the will of the people against a deal which doesn't honour the will of okay, the people. OK, so that would end up with possibly a no-deal situation, very likely. <coughs> That's not what the people voted for, a no-deal scenario. We were promised all sorts of wonderful things. Well. It would be no deal at the point of Brexit. So there wouldn't have been any negotiated uh, agreement about trade or anything of the sort. And in fact, there wouldn't have been anything agreed. That doesn't preclude a, a free trade deal in the future. So just as any third country can now try to enter into free trade negotiations with the European Union, so could the United Kingdom in the future. But I think you're right that it, the way things are lining up at the moment, it's hard to see how we're going to get anything except a, a no-deal Brexit. And that's going to be disastrous, isn't it? Well, that's what some people are saying. I mean, some people are saying we won't have sandwiches anymore, we won't have drinking water, uh, it's going to f planes won't be allowed to fly, and there's, there's a lot of alarmism yeah, well, going that's, around. It's called Project Fear, but that's Project Reality, isn't it? I mean, that's certainly going to happen, isn't it? Well, that's highly debated. I mean, most of those... I, I don't believe that most of those um, alleged disasters will actually happen. Many of them... Uh, require the British government to attack the British people. So for, they, they require the British government to erect barriers. Uh, there's no need for the British government to do that. Now, the European Union could erect barriers, uh, but all of the examples being used are cases of things coming from the Europe into Britain, and there's no need for the government to erect barriers. I mean, I hope that they may be kind of forced to usher in a new age of, of radical free trade. Yeah, but the implications, the immediate consequences aren't good, are they? A think tank, um, Britain in a changing Europe, says we'll immediately face recession over this. Jobs will be lost. The economy will hit. The IMF says we'll go into recession. I think that's, a, that's bad news. Yes, well, I think there's a good chance. I mean, the uncertainty will be so great that that in itself will cause uh, short-term harm. I think there's really little doubt about that. Um, I think most people who voted for Brexit probably realised that it would create short-term disruption. It's not a short-term manoeuvre. Right? I mean, this is changing the fundamental constitutional position of the United Kingdom. These kinds of moves are for the long term. And it'll be very hard to know whether it was a successful move or an unsuccessful move for decades, but really. short term being that cliff edge scenario, right. will businesses be prepared, consumers no. be prepared no. for that immediate change okay. if there's a no deal? I, I think that uh, there will be disruption. There's no doubt about it. And there's a possibility that Britain will go into a recession. I'm not, sh I'm not sure. Uh, it depends on what some of the government policies are. As I say, if they, if they face the difficulties by being very open and liberal, if they lower their own barriers, it could in fact cause an increase in economic activity. But I think, I mean, if I had to, if I'm a betting man, which I'm not, if I were, I'd bet on a, a short downturn, at right. least driven by uncertainty. Just briefly, people are worried about lowering those barriers and then, of course, the US, we do a trade deal with them and that means that consumer issues, you know, for example, people are worried about food standards, medical standards, chlorinated chicken, for example, we could be leaping into the unknown there and some people are very worried about that. I have no idea why. Uh, medical standards and health standards and food standards in the US are fantastic. I've got no idea why, what people are worried about.